Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss one more method for sending the request to the application, and the method name is send async. So let me open the API documentation for HTTP client, and if you can see here, there is a method called send async. So I am going to use this particular method for sending the request to the application. So in order to use this method, the steps remain same. The only additional thing which we need to do is to create the instance of HTTP request message and supply as an argument to this method. So in our previous case, when we were using the get async method, you can see here from the method name, you can understand this is used for get endpoint and the endpoint URL is being supplied as an argument to this method. But in case of send async method, all this information, that is what is the type of HTTP method, what is the endpoint URL, what is the additional header, which we need to supply along with the request has to be supplied using the HTTP request message. So if you open the documentation of HTTP request message, you can see there are certain properties available by which you can specify all this information. Headers for the headers with the request. Request URL is the endpoint URL and the method is whatever the HTTP method you want to use. As you can see here, the return type of this property is of type HTTP method. If I open the class, you can see here the properties are available for individually individual HTTP method and all these property properties are static. So I can use the class name to access these properties and every property represent one of the HTTP method HTTP get put post delete and so on. So let me create a method public void test get endpoint using send async and the attribute is test method so the first thing which we need to do is to create the instance of http request message So HTTP request message equal to new HTTP request message and using the property I'm going to specify the information for the request. So dot request URI this will be the endpoint URL so new URI and get URL. So this is the same thing which we did in one of the test method that we discussed in our previous video. Yeah, this one. After that, I'll specify the method. So the property is method equal to HTTP method and the get. As I told you, this is a static property, so I can access it via class name and the headers. So headers. So the return type of this property is HTTP request headers. The class inherits from HTTP headers and inside this class there is a method called add using which we can add our header. So we'll call the add method key as accept and the value is application slash JSON. After that I'm going to create the HTTP client equal to new HTTP client and using this I'm going to call the send async method and specify the HTTP request message instance and after this the steps remain same so I'm going to copy some of the code from the previous method which is this part to our current method Okay, so as you can see here, uh, the return type of this method is also of type task, which is a generic class and the argument to that particular class is HTTP response message. So this is done. Let me build the solution. 
and run this method so if you look at the output you can see here the output remains same. okay so this is how you can use the method that is send async method to send a request to the application that's all for this video and thanks for watching